Right, I've been away and come back to this and uh, it's like I was saying before, give yourself a rest and you come back and you see it with fresh eyes and obviously I needed a longer rest. Um, so I'm going to have another crack at just doing a few more bits to this. Um, and I'll just a bit of a think about how to use a paintbrush. I don't know whether this is going to work. These dark lines to me were just too straight really. I need to break them up but I'm not doing a very good job of it at the moment. Now the one question I've asked myself is uh, when I finish all this painting and I'm happy with uh, as happy as I can be with what I've got obviously I'm going to use a, a spray to seal all this um, I'm going to use the um, varnishing cans, the, the spray cans and I wonder whether I should do this in gloss or whether I should do it in a matte I'm not sure you can always comment let me know what you think right so the effect I wanted, I'm not going to get with um, that particular brush. So I'm going to see what else I've got. What I'm trying to get, if you can see, is all these little dark marks down here. Um, there must be a way to do it with a brush quite easily. Um, and uh, make it look as though they are feathers.
how to paint. I need to paint some. I need to make some more really. Okay. Oh, we're going to mix a bit more now. I've just taken a brown with a pinch of black in it so the black does go an awful long way when uh, you start mixing it into um, another colour So as you're looking at your picture, you start to pick up little bits and pieces where for instance around the eyes I've got white, it doesn't go all the way around it, it's broken up at the front here. So you're going to break that up as well. We'll need to try and create this band here. I'm not doing a very good job of it. I think the colours are all wrong. There is a point at which you have to stop. And just come back to it and say, well, it's acceptable, it's not acceptable.
I think we're going to leave it at that. I've had the eyes in. I've had the beak in, you've seen that. I think we'll leave it at that. And then we'll see what it's like in the morning. It'll be dry in the morning. We can uh, glue the eyes in, glue the beaks in, and uh, if there's any uh, touching up to be done after that, that can be uh, taken care of. Okay, <coughs> oh there we are, not sure what it's like in this light, um, forgot to put my, uh, my light on, might have helped me a bit, there you go, come, come back to it in the morning, glue the eyes in, glue the nose in, um, if we have to paint around the uh, the beak a bit um, to blend things in, we'll do that, and uh, then we'll decide what we're going to do as far as the final finish. I think the um, crab apple shank will be done in gloss, and uh, maybe we should do this in gloss as well. So thanks for watching. I know we've not said a lot. Um, giving you an idea, perhaps, of uh, what I do. As I say, it's a matter of uh, keep trying to replicate what we're looking at and uh, you'll have to do the same. If you're not happy with it, go back and go over it again and leave it and come back to it and say, well, I can see where I need to alter things and carry on. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.